Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about another gel electrophoresis, case study, running and analyzing. So here is the topic, what is the cause of the presence of the strange band gene besides my amplified genes in my gel following multiplex PCR. I am going to explain what is a multiplex PCR for those who are uh, just beginners. So I ran multiplex PCR to identify five genes in my samples. Following a successful PCR run, I ran the gel electrophoresis of my PCR products but found out amplification of strange band gene which is not one of the detected genes. This band all secured in all the samples and produced a very distinct band but with higher molecular size than my genes. What could this strange band be and where could they come from? I am a bit confused. And postscriptum extension time is 50 seconds at 72 degrees of Celsius for 36 cycles. So let me start what uh, multiplex PCR is. Imagine that we have certain fragment of the DNA which we want through the process of the PCR polymerase chain reaction uh, increase number of copies. For example, instead of hundreds we want them in billions quantity. So we design forward primer and reverse primer. And of course we add in our solution many forward and reverse primers. And TAC polymerase would extend both um, forward and reverse primer. So this is how we produce from two strands of the DNA four, then from four eight, from eight sixteen, and so on. But when we are doing multiplex PCR, imagine that we have long fragment of the DNA. Again, this is double stranded DNA. And we design not two primers, but multiple primers. For example, we want this fragment, so we design primers here. We are also interested in this fragment, so we also design primers here. And we also would be interested in this fragment, it can be a gene, so we design primers for this fragment. Of course, this is all going to be different sequence primers. Not necessarily it have to be for the same chromosome, it can be for any chromosome. For example, if we are doing DNA fingerprinting, we design such primers for more than 20 places in, for example, human genome. So basically, for example, when we have a blood sample in which, of course, uh, red blood cells doesn't contain any DNA, but white blood cells contain DNA, so we extract that DNA and when we add these uh, primers, we can get a genetic profile, unique genetic profile of the person. So we run the total DNA of the person extracted from hundreds of cells plus primers for different sites in the human genome and we run PCR for all these sites simultaneously. So we are going to get multiple bands. It allows us to save time and reagents. So we say it is cost effective. So it is very popular. According to the researcher who sent this question, these bands are expected, but the bands which are here are artifacts. So unexpected to be present in this gel electrophoresis. I see that the larger band is very strong and much bigger than the correct one. One possibility is that it is formed by the uh, repeat sequence. I would try 30 second extension time instead of 50 seconds and 10 second annealing time on your PCR. So use much less DNA template. It would also be interesting to run two samples, one with uh, only forward primer and one with reverse primer only to see if primer can generate the band which can happen with inverted repeat sequences. I also would recommend to run 
primer sequences on primer blast to look for multiple hits on your genome. Another rhetoric question here would be if this researcher trying to amplify genes from the genomic DNA, if so, the question would be how much nanograms of template DNA this researcher added to reaction mix. I would also recommend to try running the same amount of uh, DNA in empty wells parallelly. Maybe it is just a saturation of the template DNA, what we see here as artifacts. So if these bands keep appearing in all reactions, this might be a contamination in MMX primers or DNA template. If not, I would try diluting the components, for example, 1 to 80 of the reaction, DNA template and primers. Interchangeably, this might help to narrow down the culprit. So these are basically all my advices for today. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Goodbye.